Hello and welcome to another Del Boy video. This one is uh, another one of my statue unboxing ranges and uh, we're going to be covering another Bowen design statue. This one is sculptured by Mark Newman and uh, was sculpted in 2006. Um, I've got lots of statues. It's a big collection hobby of mine um, and I've been a marble collector for over 40 years. When it comes to statues, I've got um, over 200. Um, mostly are uh, marble um, and a lot of them are Spider-Man related. This one is no different. In fact, we're going to be looking at another villain of Spider-Man. This time it is the Scorpion. Uh, the Scorpion has been around for quite a while in uh, Spider-Man's history. Um, his actual name before becoming the Scorpion was Matt Gargan, who was a sort of private detective hired by um, a mysterious agent at the time in issue 19 of Spider-Man in 1964. Um, the next issue, um, Matt Gargan was on the trail of Spider-Man and got found out and uh, Peter Parker managed to um, evade him. On reporting back uh, to his um, mysterious villain, um, he was at two ends on what to do. Um, so J. Jonah Jameson, a newspaper reporter, was reading up about uh, a scientist called Dr. Farley Stillwell, who was experimenting with radiation and uh, creatures and predators. Thinking that Spider-Man needed a natural predator to finally get Spider-Man off of his back once and for all, um, Matt Gargan came in and found him to be a natural ally in being able to defeat Spider-Man once and for all by them both going to see Dr. Farley Stillwell. On meeting Dr. Farley Stillwell, um, Dr. Farley Stillwell decided this was a good idea as well and turned Matt Gargan into the Scorpion by using a, co a combination of a suit and a serum of a Scorpion the natural predator of a spider. With that, I think I'll just show you my statue. I have to be very careful with this one because it's one of the ones that doesn't require assembly. And so basically, it's probably a little bit easier to break. If I put this in front, you'll see that this one is number 214 of a thousand and was made in 2006. And I'm just going to put him down on the plinth and check the camera. That looks good. And we'll just see him from all sides if possible. There we go. So just a little bit more about the Scorpion. So with his new battle suit and... Uh, with his new enhanced powers, the Scorpion started to do J. Jonah Jameson's bidding by going after Spider-Man. And it didn't take too long before they had a battle and Spider-Man was easily overpowered. The Scorpion was far stronger and had the enhancement of the battle tail. Um, the problem was that as um, Matt Gargan's scorpion persona got stronger, the more the natural instincts of a scorpion took over. So in this particular instance, he became more evil, more cunning, and started to become insane. Um, Dr. Farwell Stillwell noticed this and decided to come up with a serum and offer the serum to Matt Gargan. On introducing the, the, um, the antidote to Matt Gargan, um, he instantly rejected it, attacked Matt Gargan, started to crawl away, 
Mac and uh, Dr. Still were chased after him, but on trying to climb up a building, accidentally fell off the building and died. Um, now knowing that no one could stop him, and knowing that J. Jonah Jameson was the only person who knew who the Scorpion really was, the Scorpion decided to target J. Jonah Jameson. Um, a battle started to happen at the Daily Bugle, and Spider-Man came in and managed to save the day just. The way he did that was by sticking his feet to the floor. The Scorpion then had very little mobility. With no mobility, um, Spider-Man was easily able to pull the Scorpion tail off of Matt Gargan, which meant that, just like in an appage, and basically it just came away. Um, he then covered him with web, and that was the end of the Scorpion's first meeting um, in Amazing Spider-Man issue 20. Now this one, uh, this particular statue, also comes as a mini bust, and in fact there are two mini busts in this range. There is a retro version, and there is this sort of more metallic, newer looking version of the Scorpion. Because the Scorpion really only had a tail with a rounded end. This particular storm, uh, Scorpion has, as you can see, uh, 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 a needle at the end. Now I've had this statue since 2010, even though it came out in 2006, and it is brand new. This is only the second time I've took it out of the box. What I do like about it is the metallic nature of it. I do think it's quite highly detailed. It's fairly short and being only 13 inches tall, um, but that's because of the crouch nature. But again, the base is one of those brick bases and it definitely looks quite a menacing statue. And with that, we'll just move in and see if we can get some nice images while it's moving around. See if we can zoom in and see if we can get some more detail. So as you can see, the metallic greens really pop, as does the anatomy, the scorpion itself. The base really does look like brickwork. Really do like that. And of course, the scorpion's tail definitely looks menacing. Just wait for it to come round again. See if we can get some more actiony shots. But as soon as I got this statue, I started thinking, wow, I've really got a rogues gallery here of Spider-Man statues. And I started then to look down, um, looking for how many of these uh, villains have actually been done in the Bowen range. And there are quite a few. And I was very pleased when I got this particular statue. And I'll just put it back down. And switch it off and then just round up the video I hope you've enjoyed this video um, I've really enjoyed coming back to this statue it's only the second time I've seen it out of its box um, spider-man is a huge part of my life and a lot of my statues will show that um, but I think what makes them uh, really good is just how colourful and out of the ordinary they really are. Um, think, thinking back to 1964 and the writer Stan Lee and Steve Ditko themselves, what would be good as an adversary against Spider-Man? It made perfect sense. A predator. And what is the natural predator of a spider? A scorpion. And they had to do that every month is try and bring up a story something worthy of going against spider-man but with that i'm going to end it and say thank you very much for watching this i've really enjoyed this a lot and uh until the next time salute and thank you very much bye bye